Hello everybody, this is George Melnick Automotive. In this video I would like to show you something mechanics don't want you to know. If you have one of these newer vehicles and if you have a Christmas tree, as you can see, I have a traction control, check engine light, hill assist, eyesight, you name it, it's on here, okay? This is normally caused by only one issue. So if you have something like this happen, it normally happens in a newer car, it happens on Toyota, it happens on Honda, this is a Subaru. Um, basically, so if you take the car in, what mechanics don't want you to know, they want you to think that there's multiple problems with your vehicle. And they would charge you, tech, you know, technically speaking, diagnostics on other systems like eyesight, um, maybe hill assist, traction control, ABS, whatever it may be. So before you spend that money, I would like you have them check your check engine light first. Okay? Because the check engine light will cause all these systems to throw a baloney codes, okay? And they're all gonna come out in one in one like sequence. So here's the deal. I went ahead and uh, put the scan tool on this car and I pulled P0171. Um, that's a, I believe there's a vacuum leak um, on this vehicle, even though it's new because the engine was changed on this car. So I'm gonna show you how to find the vacuum leak. That's gonna be my next step. But just so you know, they don't want you to know, they might they want to have you think that there's numerous problems with your car and they will charge you for something that nothing has to be done. So I know that trick. Um, I've been burned by that trick myself when I just started up. So I'm just kind of giving you a heads up. So next I'm going to take you in the engine bay I'm going to show you how we're going to look for a vacuum leak. I believe there's a vacuum leak on this vehicle. I don't think there's anything with uh, fuel, with oxygen sensors because everything's brand new. Most likely when technicians uh, put the engine in, they maybe didn't connect something or there might be a, like a, you know, maybe there's a little hole in the hose or something, a vacuum hose or something like that. Maybe something got pinched. So I'm going to show you how we're going to look for a vacuum leak. Next. As you guys can see, um, I'm going to be using a smoke machine. Okay, I hooked up the air hose. And what I'm going to do, I disconnected one of the vacuum lines. I'm going to connect this in there and see if I get smoke anywhere out of my hoses. It's inexpensive, I'm not sure I purchased that on eBay a few years ago, but it's very helpful. This is what kind of smoke it produces. Subaru, I think this is the best area to do it. What I did, I disconnected this hose here because this line, this is a vacuum line, basically it should go through the whole system. So I went ahead, I went ahead and take, took off this hose, I put some tape on it, and uh, you can see my machine puts out beautiful smoke. So I'm going to plug it in and hopefully I'm going to find a hole. Okay, so as you can see my smoke machine has been running for a few minutes. I mean not a few minutes, maybe 20-30 seconds and you could see where my vacuum leak is. That's why I'm getting P0171. As you could see where the smoke is uh, coming out. So I do have a little hole in that area. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this hose. It's for you know the one that runs from the back of the air cleaner box, mass airflow sensor to the throttle body, and that's gonna take care of our issue. So very useful machine, inexpensive. I think I paid around hundred dollars for this machine. All you need, like I said, is an air hose, and you just connect it to your battery. So we just went ahead and located the leak. Here's what happened, a little closer, look, very poor design I believe with Subaru what that happened, what happened there, just the seam of this hose that runs, it's kind of, it's a plastic, that just uh, cracked in that area and that now it just basically causes a giant vacuum leak, so we're going to go ahead and replace this thing. I went ahead and removed the hose. I want to show you, and this is not a first car I've seen this. Uh, this issue, I believe it's going to be common issue, because this is my third, this is my third one that I'm replacing. Third intake hose, um, 2017, 18, 19 Impreza, 2018, 19 Crosstrek. Here's the problem: on the older vehicles. This was not plastic. The, the material they used, it was more like a rubber. It was more flexible. 
Now they're using a hard plastic and you could see the seam here. They just used glue in there, but here what happens, like maybe from heat, maybe from stress, from an accident, I don't, I can't exactly tell you, but this is the third one. And what happens, this seam, and I'm gonna, can you, can you see the light? I'm actually putting my camera inside the hose. So that's the light. That's where the smoke was coming out of. That seam just splits. You could put silicone if you want to be, you know, if you're in a budget, don't want to replace it. I don't think this is an expensive hose. Um, I'm sure it's going to be around 100 bucks. I haven't checked yet, so can't quote you on that. But you could see, and this is not a first one. This is probably a third hose that caused this vacuum leak. Right there. You see that? I could squeeze on it and I could close it up. So watch this. When I'm going to squeeze my hand, let me see. I haven't done that. I just want to give you good light. There you go. I squeezed it. I let go. There's a crack. I squeezed it. There's nothing there. So basically, that's a problem right there. All right. So as you can see, this is my old one. That's my new one. It's not a brand new, but it's used from a different vehicle. Very low mileage, I think a thousand miles or so on that hose. But I verified that hose before we installed it. Now I'm gonna show you uh, my uh, scan tool that I'll be using. It's gonna be Launch X431. And I'm gonna use it just normal droid. It's not phone based, just uh, as long as it has Wi-Fi. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna clear the code via Bluetooth and you'll see all my lights going away. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and clear the codes. After I replace the hose, you have to clear the codes. They're not gonna go away on their own. So check this out. I'm using normal Samsung tablet, okay? It doesn't have, as a matter of fact, as you could see, it's in airplane mode. So you don't need, like I said, you don't need to have a phone, but it could be any droid uh, type of uh, device. So I'm gonna go to Subaru. We're going to connect to Subaru via Bluetooth. I should update my version. They have a new one available. It's a 16-pin connector. And this is basically getting uh, this is getting all done by Bluetooth. There's no, there's no wires attached. That's my old connector right there. So we're going to have system selection, engine, And I'll show you, there's only one trouble code. Once I wipe that out, and this is exactly what mechanics don't want you to know, because they will get you on this. Um, I, I, like I said, I overpaid myself before I knew. That's the reason I'm sharing all these videos with you. I had a few mechanics already call me and tell me that I shouldn't be posting these videos online. Honestly, like just have them bring the cars in. Why are you giving out all the secrets? So watch this read trouble codes and B0171 system to lean bank one okay so what we're gonna do right now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna clear fault memory okay hit yes it says uh, turn ignition switch on engine off yes watch what happens clear fault memory turn ignition off so my lights are still on I'm turning my ignition off Watch this. I'm going to start the car now. Check this out. All my lights are gone. One code caused all those lights to come on. And now that code will not come back because I replaced the hose. So that's how you look for a vacuum leak. If you have a P0171, there's other codes that cause vacuum leak as well. But before you authorize your mechanic or a dealer, try to look into your other lights. Make sure you have them look and take care of check engine first. Because check engine could fix most of your other lights on the newer vehicles. And that's a secret mechanics don't want you guys to know. I just want to show you that and bring it up so you guys are aware of that and possibly could save you a few hundred bucks. And diagnostics fees. Thanks for watching. This was George with Melnick's Automotive.